Hi, this is The Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about creating app videos with Lumen5. All right, a few weeks ago I hired a new person to help us out with some of our content and our social media and stuff like that. He's not with the team anymore. It didn't quite work out, but he did. He did. There were some things he did that were really pretty cool, and he taught me about this new t about this tool I'm about to show you called Lumen Five, right? So to give you an idea what it is, you probably see these videos all over the place, like uh, like information videos with text and music and images, right? It's not really. It's not a blog. It's not really a full video. It's not like some you know, some guy talking to you guys like like this, whatever. But it's like just a bit of information, right? So uh, let me let me show you what I mean. If you if you follow us on Instagram, you'll You'll see this. So let, have a look at our Instagram page here, uh, and you'll see some of them here. Some of the videos we have. Um, let's see. Uh, does your you know, why does your app need good design? Right. If you click on here, uh, playful little music or whatever, and you see um, you know images, you see text and everything like that, uh, and you know a little bit of text. So it's just you know like one minute long. Uh, you know runs you know runs through it. And at the end, it has the Overpass logo. And it's supposed to be creating something that's shareable, something that's interesting for users and stuff like that. So, so, so that's what it is. So I share this video today, whatever. So, you know, we've been trying those new kind of things. And it was, we, we haven't been doing it on the YouTube channel, but we've been doing it on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. And I started looking at this as a way of creating app videos too. So let me show you this tool. It's called Lumen5. And you guys might, it might be of interest to you. I think I, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, like we, I, I use Canva a lot. Canva is a free tool that, that, um, you know, it's, you know, it's just a graphics editing tool, but it's a lot easier than, you know, firing up Photoshop all the, yeah, yeah, Photoshop all the time or GIMP or whatever, you know, so it's, yeah, it's Photoshop we use, right? So I used to use Paint Shop Pro and I, I still keep getting confused about the two of them, but yeah, Photoshop, so, right? So uh, it's this tool here called uh, Lumen5 and what it does is it takes a, it, what it says is it uses artificial intelligence to, to do this. I don't know if that's really true, but uh, you, you take like any, like any blog post or any article and you put it in there and it, you could like select uh, thing so like I tried it with a with my Google Play page and and that worked pretty well so let me just show you this dashboard here um, and let me just let me just walk through the steps here you yeah you know, so so uh, supposedly you could take any blog and there's no specification on whether or not it has to be your blog but that I think that's kind of creepy that's why we've only been using our blog posts for for these you know videos so far right so if I go let's say if I go to um, I'm going to start by doing um, a Google Play page just to show you show you how it works because it I wasn't sure if it would work with Google Play and it did so let me just say play.google.com uh, type in spy I'll get the ear spy one because it's the one I always use but you know it's just the easiest one to find um, so we go in here and let's say if I take this just take that URL I go back to Lumen5 and I say create a new video and the first thing when you select create a new video it says paste in a blog article or an article of some sort. So, you know, we could do a blog article and it would take the bullet points and all this kind of stuff, or we could use our Google Play page. So let's go uh, here, we'll paste in that one there, go create, and it takes a few seconds, it parses the text, and it will sort of randomly generate some, some images and stuff like that. And if you, see I went through and just did the defaults and it took like less than five minutes to do this. You know, ideally though, you'd go through and, and select everything a little bit you know, better than I do. So here you go. Over here, we've got the, um, the, the text of the description here on the left. Uh, so we, what you want to do is go through and select a storyboard. So let's say uh, your agent is to prove the power, prove your hearing with the power of Android. Um, click on the center button and you hear the world. So I'm just going finding key sentences within here or like if it was bullet points or something like that. I would say, um, let's see, something uh, whether you want to hear nature or the world, uh, there's more going around than you realize, blah, blah, blah. You download the resources here, right? So let's just, let's just go with those, with those ones, right? And so we go, uh, we go preview and it will give you like an idea of what it would look like, but it's still like, um, See, at this point, it, it took a little while to load there, but so, so you can see it with text, but without images. And it's actually pretty cool. You see, it's already, it already has figured out what the icon is, and it just sort of shows them, and it highlights different parts of the sentences, right? So, so let's just go ahead and click continue. Oh, 
you have a sentence with more than 140 characters, which would be this one, let's get rid of this one. Just trash that one, trash that one. Let's go, I'm just gonna pick some at random here. Um, your agent perfectly safe to use. Okay, so let's just go continue. And then it, it generates some images. Now this part does take a little bit of time, so I might stop the video here, but. Cool, so that took, that took about 30 seconds only, so that wasn't too bad. So here, it's, it's gone away, and based on the, tech, the text that I've chosen, it's went and found some, some images that we're allowed to use. So royalty-free images, community commons, all that kind of stuff. So here you can see, uh, we've got um, uh, Android apps on Google Play, your agent attempts to prove hearing, uh, click on the center button and you hear the world. Sometimes these images don't quite make sense. So, you know, but you could select other ones here too. Um, there's more going on here than you realize. Um, we'd love for you to tell your readers about our apps. Your agent is perfectly safe to use. You know, you are surrounded by sound, hear it. So that's, so that's kind of, you know, how that works. But you can go here and select other images and you can go in here and you could change these images. You could change the text. Uh, you know, there's lots of different stuff you could do. So let's go here and go preview. Let's go continue to editing. Now, we, what we don't have is we haven't selected music. So here you got several music tracks that you're allowed to use. So let's go and do Jazzy Frenchy because that's like really, really naff. Okay, let's do that one. Sure, why not? Um, so let's choose that one. And let's do branding. We got all that done. There we go. So now it just generates this, this video. Now, as you can see, that just took me a few minutes to do. Now, if I was really going to be good about it, I would go through and do, so it does all the panning and zooming and all that kind of stuff. This music is annoying, right? So I saw this. Now this, so what I could do with this, I could publish this video, I could put it on YouTube and then put it on against my app, but it's, you know, it's not gonna happen. Nobody's gonna download it because that, right? I could, I could put this against my app. I could put it on social media. I could put it on Instagram, on Facebook, you know, all this kind of stuff. So anyway, it was just a really interesting tool I wanted to tell you guys about. It might help you a little bit with your apps, especially if you're not, you're not into doing the whole video thing. You can see how it works, or at least if you're looking for something to put out there on social media. So we, you know, this is something that we're trying lately. Uh, and another thing you may notice when I showed you my Instagram page here, let me just go back here, is that a lot of times we'll take our favorite reviews and we'll make um, and we'll make image quotes out of them. So you see image quotes all the time, like you know Thomas Edison or whatever. So we just take some of our some of our good ones and we'll we'll go through and we'll um, you know just take them and make some some image quotes and that gives us something to put out there on social media and hopefully get it shared and everything like that. So yeah, you know, we're trying different things. So anyway, this is a really quick one today. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. I hope, you know, if you guys are already using uh, Lumen 5, let me know how you're using it. Let me know how you're finding it. One of the things I think is creepy about it is that you could take somebody else's blog post and create your own content with it, which seems a bit sleazy to me, but uh, you know, but yeah, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know if that's that's you know a problem or not. So anyway, that's it for today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.